Welcome to another episode of HVAC Arverse. I have a first for this channel today. It is going to be an unboxing of the not so new Build Piece Cat 85. It came out, I think, like back in October of 2022. But I just acquired one. No one gave it to me, purchased it. And we're going to do an unboxing and my initial impression on it. And let's move on over to that right now and take a look at it. You guys are going to be seeing Unbox for the first time. I haven't opened this up yet or done anything with it. So let's move on over to there. Are you ready? All right, so this is the first time I've opened this box. The only thing I've done is pulled the shipping label off. I just got this in today, so let's open it up and check it out. Now, I'm not going to lie. This thing is not cheap by any means. Um, they're pretty pricey, but seeing as how my test though took a dive, decided to get something different. All right. So we don't need this right. Let's get this out of here. Let's get that out of there so everybody can see the bag. The bag feels pretty nice. Seems solid. Top feels pretty hard. It's not going to crush anything. The sides are a little soft. This has got a little bit of stiffness to the side right here. All right, so. Oh, that's it. All its glory right there. So it comes with. So let me start by saying. There's a few different differences between the Cat 85 and the Cat 45. The Cat 85 comes with a built-in manometer for checking gas pressure and static pressures, whatnot. And the Cat 85 also has what they call their hydro cycle, which eliminates the need for a catch cup for condensation, and it just dumps the water back in the flue. But so here's the, uh, the tubes. For checking your with your manometer for gas pressure put those to the side let's zoom this out a little bit all right so we have a little bit more viewing room now yeah get rid of that get rid of that too so here's well, that's kind of nifty comes with a little protector for your pickup tube so that way it doesn't get bent so we're going to put that to the side let's pull this out of the plastic and check it out put this back in here all right so i'm assuming this has the pump built into it and there's like, looks like a little hydro. This is a filter right here. So you don't get stuff sucked back into your combustion analyzer. All right. So we got all this right here. I can see right here, it's got these two little nozzles that shoot it out back into your flue for the condensation. Put that to the side. Pull this out. So... We got our actual combustion analyzer right here. I wonder how sturdy these magnets are. Oops. Yep, they're pretty sturdy. So this combustion analyzer, I kind of wanted to go with it because it's what they have their sensor vault technology. I'm not going to try and make it sound fancier than what it is. It locks the sensors in place. And with this combustion analyzer, they offer a four-year sensor warranty. So for four years, your sensor has a warranty. And I don't know of any other combustion analyzer out there that has a four-year sensor warranty. My Testo 310 sent them into Testo. Testo said they couldn't fix it. And the price, if they could fix it, would be almost the cost of a new Testo 310. And that's kind of a waste of money and time. So this will be nice. Build serviceable sensors. You can get into them underneath here. What else does it come with? 
Um, just comes with what it's been shows that it tested and passed. Kind of neat. What else do we have in here? We have a charging cable and looks like a strap for the bag and instructions on how to use it. All right. Comes with a strap for your bag. Put that to the side. Comes with a USB-C cable to charge it. Well, hopefully it's got a little bit of charge for this video, right? Because we're just unboxing it for the first time. So I'm going to tuck all this back into this little baggie. Put that to the side. I mean, the bag seems kind of nice. Got some hard plastic inside here to protect it. This actually is kind of, this is really hard. That's nice. And there's a piece of hard plastic right here too. These tools aren't designed to be tossed around though. Even, I don't care if it's a Sourman or a Bacharach or any of the tests. Those are not designed to be tossed around and they're designed to be treated nicely. They are sensitive pieces of equipment. We spent a lot of money on these combustion analyzers, so we shouldn't be throwing them around anyways. So let's hook up our pickup probe, disconnect our cable here, a little twisty tie, put that to the side. So on here, you have your two manometer probes. This is obviously where you're going to charge it, it looks like, and this is where your pickup plugs into. Let's put this bag to the side. Let's see if this thing fires up. We're going to put our probe in here. Got a little thing that tells you which way to go. Thought there would be a square, circle, square. Goes just like that. All right. Let's see if this turns on. Oh, it's actually got a charge in it. That's not bad. So this links up to the fill piece job link app and it also works with measure quick. So it's just doing its uh, ambient check, calibrating the sensor, let it go through that for a second. So it's got this sensor vault technology. This locks the sensors underneath here and that's why they're guaranteeing these sensors for four years because they're not getting constantly hit with O2 or CO and failing them sooner than the four year mark. My test though didn't make it, but I don't know, a few years and it took a dump on me just the other day. The next few screens, set up your new analyzer. All right, so we're in 2023. We are in September and I think today is the 28th. So, September 28th. Let's just go ahead and set the time. Sounds about right. All right. Let's just skip that. Standard. Finish. All right. So it's operating. So on here, it has where you stop your pump. This is all touch screen. So we can go to the job menu. Looks like. And do combustion. There's a little graph on here you can do. Shows your stack temperature, how many parts per million of CO. Shows the O2 in the in the stack, and then it shows the parts per million of free air CO. Has a little trending graph right here. That's kind of cool. This is good for doing your combustion test. You can see in the graph how you're doing. You can set your graph up for five minutes, two minutes, five minutes, 
10 minutes, 20 minutes, one minute, two minute, five minutes. So that's kind of cool. So you get your little graph on here. Let's see how it works on the job link app. So let's go into the job link app. Link tool. I guess we need to set up and dot pump. Go to the job menu. Settings. All right. Well, there we are, got the job link on there. All right. So, now that we got that on there, shows it on the job link app. Wonder if it'll show the trending. So, I'll have to play around with that a little bit more to figure out if you can do the graph on here. Because on here, you have your trending graph. And we need to see if we can get that to show up on the job link app. But on the job link app, it shows you your stack temperature, your O2, your CO, your free air-free CO. Shows excess air, the draft which there's no way we have a draft of 0 0.3, 0 0.03. Unless because it's the, yep, it was the mini split blown into it. Um, then we have 0.8 of CO2. Then we have efficiency 90%. But yeah, it's got all the stuff on there for here. You set your type of fuel type, atmospheric burner. Let's see if we can change that. So, this seems pretty cool. I like the big screen. I like how it's touch. Set up. You can set your limits, your excess air. Add CO2 if you want into there. Uh, blue draft we want in there as well. So, I don't care about free air CO. I want CO. You only get so many options in there. So, flu draft, CO, O2, stack temp. Those are the things that I'm looking for when I'm trying to do this. So I've got my CO parts per million, my stack temp, my, my draft, my inches of water column, my O2. So everything seems pretty good on here. Then you have your main menu right here. You can stop the pump. Go to the job menu. So overall in all, it seems pretty nice. It's nice that you can put the customer's information in there, put it into the report. So that's nice. Yeah, overall seems like a pretty nice, well-built tool. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. So the one thing I will say is most combustion analyzers, you need to let the CO drop down to zero. Now, I'm not sure if this technology allows you to stop. Oh, look, it even shows you how much sensor life is left. Is it O2 is 100%, CO is 100%. You can put memory in here. That's pretty nice. Stop the pump. Let's see if it'll let us uh, turn it off or if it makes it as a purge. So it's doing a purge and it makes you move it to ambient air. And then there's 
it clicks these sensors in there. I don't know if you can hear that click. Unsealed. There it goes. All right. So the pump's running, trying to clear any CO and stuff in the lines. Got this little screen tab on here. I'm going to see if I can find a screen protector from for this. That's like the, one of the major failures of most combustion analyzers is the sensors just fail. And I don't care if it's a back rack. I don't care if it's any of them. They tend to fail. I don't know if the Sourmans are filled serviceable for the sensors. I know that the Testo 310 is not. The back rack does have filled serviceable sensors where you can replace them. This seems even easier to replace the sensors. I know that some of the Testos, I, I believe I've seen that they can replace the sensors in the field, but the 310 does not let you do it. So it's clearing the instrument of flue gases, powering it down, and it should shut off. Hey, that's not bad. So tomorrow, I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to run it through its paces. I'm going to test it out on someone's house, see how it operates. I'm going to give the good, the bad, the ugly of it. So far, it seems pretty nice. The case is really nice, which is kind of odd for a field piece. We have a running joke at the office that field piece is Fisher Price. Just a thing. Um, but when I saw this at uh, an expo back in January, I believe it was, I got to test it out and it seemed pretty nice. I couldn't tell whether the Cat 45 was better than the Cat 85. Just because something's more expensive doesn't mean it's better. They both use the same sensor vault technology. I don't know yet. I'm going to test it out tomorrow. I'm going to record the whole thing and I'm going to post it up here of doing a full combustion analysis of a furnace tomorrow. I might sweat somebody out and kill them because still pretty warm here in Arizona, but we're going to test it out. We're going to try it out and let you guys know, give you the full unadulterated, adulterated view and what I feel about it. Because guess what? I paid for it. Phil Peace didn't pay for this. Now, if Phil Peace liked to send me stuff and try it out, I'd be more than happy to, but I paid for this out of my own pocket and I'm going to test it out. And I hope it's everything that was promised for it to be. So, Keep an eye out for that video tomorrow, and keep on HVACing on, guys. If you like this video or any of the other videos, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and as usual, happy HVACing.